Right, so today working on the bottom of the engine, sumps off obviously. Um, this should be the balance shaft assembly if I remember right. Uh, that's going away, I'm not going to be putting that in. But I'll be taking it off anyway and probably selling it. You know, because someone's bound to have one that's exploded so, you know, they're going to want a replacement. I think this bit is a splash guard or something like that, I can't remember, I don't know. So just be buzzing all the bolts off that you can see basically until they get further in. Right, so I kind of skipped ahead here. Um, what I've done is kind of self-explanatory but obviously I took the balance shaft assembly off. Uh, I need to figure out if there's a way to you know, check that, like play or anything. We'll have a clue. Also, what is this thing here? I'm assuming that that's maybe oil pump, I don't know. But let me know what that is. Um, so, took the end caps off the pistons, knocked the pistons out with a bit of wood. So they're out. These are, um, cracks basically they're supposed to be cracked so they crack them so that this joint is perfect so it's not a machine surface I was told that there should be matching numbers on the cap and the bottom but I mean as some on this one but if you look at the other ones you can't really see I mean there's something on them printed kind of but it's hard to see I can't can't really see it properly on the top we've got so look C looks like C4 don't know it's hard to see 279 maybe Let's check one of the other ones, check the one with the code on it. This one says C4 again. I think it's um, 379, something like that, anyway. But yeah, I mean, the most important thing is I put them back on the right ones, you know. Because if you don't put them on the right ones, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to check these bearings for wear, or shells, whatever you want to call them. Um, the pistons are being changed, but probably keeping the rods, because uh, they should do what they need to. But I will clean up these surfaces, see if there's any wear on them. I'm not expecting any wear, to be honest. I mean, from what I've seen so far this engine, yeah, it's had some damages, but it seems like it's always had oil, or as much oil as it needs. I need to check this for play as well, even though I'll be changing the bearings and the pistons. Um, not sure how I would test that. So if anyone knows, let me know. So these came out in, this is the back one, where the flywheel is, all the way to the front. So it's all the pistons out. So the next thing to do is uh, get the flywheel off and get the crankshaft out. Because I'll be selling this crankshaft. I'll also be selling the balance shaft assembly as well because this crank isn't going back in here um, I got another crank that's going in here so that'll be selling them so that I can get a bit of money to uh, fund this build because it's going to be expensive right so I've checked the uh, surfaces and um, I've only spotted a little bit on this one you see that line let me turn it round. You can see it goes round. It's a, it's a line that goes all the way round. But that's the worst piston. The rest of them, they're mostly smooth, but 
very tiny tiny micro scratches if anything but other than that nothing I think this one this is the um, uh, which way is it it's not the front one it's at the front of the engine it's the one just behind it and this one might have been the one with the um, oh, what's it called the injector tip broke off maybe might not have might have been the other one which I've already packed away um, be changing the bearing surfaces anyway so I'm not not really worried but it's nice to see that it's in pretty good nick before I change it but yeah that was the only one that had any sort of damage to it and even that is superficial it's only a slight scratch but yeah